Hello, this is Professor BRB, and in this video we will draw this simple flower pot and these leaves in order to have the elements to create a simple illustration with the flowers we've drawn in um, previous videos. So let's get started. We can reset our Essentials workspace here. And if you have access to this template, which you should be able to download from the link on the YouTube playlist, just go to artboard number five, flower pot and stems. And you should be working in the my work layer and these other layers will be locked. Uh, incidentally, you can turn these layers on and off, um, but we're just gonna work in the my work layer. So please go to your rectangle tool, which you can get by just typing M on the keyboard. And let's set our stroke and fill to default. Just default stroke and fill over here. And we're going to draw a rectangle. Very simple to do. What I want to do now is, is um, round these bottom corners. And it's very easy to do in Creative Cloud. Go to Direct Selection Tool, click off to deselect and just drag across those bottom two points to just select them and leave the top points unselected. And you'll see these little red targets show up. They're red because this is a uh, red uh, indicated layer. <clears throat> and just grab one of those and drag it in. And the further you drag, the greater the radius of the corner will be. And the less you drag, the less the radius will be. So just choose whatever radius looks best to you doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Back to your selection tool, hold down your Option and Shift key, and drag over a copy. Make sure that you release your mouse button before you release the keyboard. Uh, that's important. Back to the Direct Selection tool, click off, and again, just select those bottom two points. Now, I want to move those in to make the bottom of the pot narrower, and I think the easiest way to do this is just with the arrow keys on your keyboard. And just make sure that you count the number of times that you hit the arrow key. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks fine to me. And click off to deselect. Select those two points again. And again, now this time I'm going to use my left arrow key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Since I used the same number of uh, keyboard hits, uh, it did it uh, symmetrically. So now let's go back and we're going to choose the rounded rectangle tool. And we're just going to draw this top rim. The rounded rectangle tool automatically creates a rectangle that has all four corners rounded. And if you don't get in quite the right position, just hold down your space bar and you can move this up while you're still drawing if you haven't yet released your mouse button. And if it's not quite the way you want it, if you hit the up arrow keys, it increases the radius of the corners. And if you hit the down arrow keys, it decreases it. So you can just make that look however you want. Now if you back to your selection tool and if you select your rim and your pot, we want to align them uh, with each other. And Illustrator has great tools to help you do that. And uh, I'm going to click off for a minute because I want you to observe something. Please look up here in, uh, if you click off and have nothing selected, look up here in your control panel and you can see that you have, you have information that kind of relates to your document. And when you go with your selection tool and select those two shapes, notice these align tools will probably pop up. If they don't pop up on your computer, maybe you have a smaller screen than I do, you can also find them under Window Align. But right here now I have them up here, so I'm going to use them. Uh, this little uh, place here allows you to choose Align to Selection or Align to Artboard. Let's choose Align to Selection. Now we just want to choose this option, Horizontal Align Center. 
Bingo. Instantly, these are aligned exactly the way I want. So now all we have to do really is apply a fill. So for my top, I'll apply uh, just some kind of a brownish color. And for the bottom, I have a special gradient I put in this file called Flower Pot. Let's select both of these and get rid of the stroke. Oops, didn't get that one, so let's do that. No stroke. Oh, wait. No stroke. Okay. And when I zoom in on this, I can see I was a little inaccurate. See how this is peeking out a little? So that's easy to fix. Just select my rim and with the arrow key, just pop it right up. Now we're going to draw the stems. And here we get to play with a relatively new tool in Illustrator called the Width Tool, um, which I just love to work with. So let's go back to um, the Arc Tool, which we used in the Heart Tutorial, if you were with us for that one. And we can set our color to some kind of a green color here. Our, well, actually, we don't want a fill, so we should set our fill to nothing and our stroke color to a kind of a green color, whichever one you want. And now, with our Arc Tool, we just uh, click and drag, and it's not going the way I want it to, but if I hit the F key, it flips it. And this is a really cool tool. It's just very quick to just make simple arcs, and it makes them with curve points and handles. So if you click on them with the direct selection tool, you see they're very editable. Uh, and it's just a real quick, real quick little tool to use, and I, I like it a lot. Some of the new tools that Adobe puts in this program, I honestly don't see the reason for, but the curve tool I quite like. And we're just going to draw some curves here. And um, you can see I've got a very thin stroke there. Uh, so I want to select all of these and make some modifications. Um, you can see the stroke here is one point. Uh, a point is a typographic unit of measurement, and there are 72 points in an inch, so that's quite small. Let's make that thicker, like maybe six points or seven points maybe. Might be good thickness. And I also want to go into my stroke men, uh, menu here. I can hit that, get that to stroke. And I want to put a round cap on them. So they'll look just a little bit more organic. clicking off to deselect, and um, I think these two I'm going to use as stems, and they, they look okay to me as stems, but these uh, I want to make into, into leaves, uh, and here's how we do it. Um, I'm going to select this one and go to uh, this relatively new tool um, called the Width Tool. And what this allows us to do is something we never were able to do in Illustrator before, which is make strokes of a varying width. And it's super easy to use. Um, all you have to do is hover over a stroke and wherever, um, let me zoom in on this so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, I'll go back to the width tool. When you hover over a stroke, you get this little white line and wherever you hold down your mouse button and pull out oops a daisy and pull out it creates a width and if you hold down on your mouse put button and squish it in um, it it reduces it and it's really a lot of fun to play with this uh, and you can really get a lot of interesting effects with this uh, particular tool. And what's kind of fun is if you create a width profile that you quite like, um, if you select that leaf and you go up here to this menu or in the stroke panel, it's down here under profile, you can find it in the stroke panel, and if you go down to the bottom of that little width profile menu, uh, you can use this button to add to profiles. 
and I'm going to call this a daisy leaf. And click OK. And what's kind of nice about that is later on, if you want to apply that to another stroke, you just go down and choose daisy leaf. And you might have to increase the weight. And you can see that that profile will automatically be applied. So this is really a great feature. So now we uh, pretty much have uh, whatever we need to uh, go ahead and create our and uh, cut and paste onto the blank page, which is Artboard 7, or into a new document, and see if you can rearrange what we've created into um, a little illustration. And if a uh, little hint here, if things are not layered the way that you want them to be, uh, remember that you can go to Object Arrange, say if that was in front and I didn't want it to be the stem sticking out like that, uh, you can move things around in the stacking order by going Object arrange, send to back, or bring to front. And uh, maybe you can create a little illustration like this one right here. Um, in our next video, we're going to do a little bit more complicated uh, shape in that we're going to draw this vase in case you would rather have a vase than a flower pot uh, for your flowers. Uh, and we'll be exploring the very excellent Shape Builder tool uh, in, in this next tutorial. So I hope you'll join us for that.